Bonjour. Bonjour. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being with me, Anna. <laughs> oh, thank you for having me. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you. After a busy day, but I'm sure that all of us, we have a busy day. And now we're going to have a very um, relaxing moment, joyful moment, talking about, okay, uh, what are the trends for this spring? Because spring is coming. Uh, everybody wants to look, you know, fresh, to look different, to enjoy new products and to enjoy themselves. So we're going to go through and maybe to discuss about two different trends for this spring, Anna. Yeah. So, but before that, tell us a bit more about you. Well, for those watching, hello, how are you doing? Um, hello, my name everyone. is Hannah Martin. I'm a makeup artist. Um, I'm based in London and my career stretches across many different areas of the beauty industry, but I work um, with private clients. I work uh, with magazines doing beauty shoots. I do a bit of television work. Um, so yeah, I have a very, very broad career at the moment. What an experience, really. <laughs> 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 so I mean, I've been traveling all over the world just to meet, you know, beautiful women all over the world, real women. I'm not talking about models or influencers, or whatever. Real women who always wanted to know more about cosmetic, to know more about makeup. And we're going to share, you know, our techniques, Anna, and our beauty tips, definitely, to make sure that we're going to be able to help all of you that you are definitely joining us today. <laughs> so, Anna, so what do you think about okay what's your your favorite trend and the trend you would like to talk about for this spring well i think the trend that makes me most excited and the trend that i love to practice most is fresh glowing dewy skin uh -huh. i just think in springtime especially but no matter the season, no matter your age, no matter where you are or what you're doing, we can look bright, fresh and youthful with a bit of a glow to the skin. So I am going to be showing you how I create that kind of glowing, dewy, spring-like look using my favourites from Clarins. Great, great, thank you. And I am going to answer to some customer concerns as long as uh, not everyone, everybody wants to look, you know, to, to have a glowy look because they're concerned about, you know, shininess and combination yeah. skin, oily skin. So I'm going to take the opposite. I'm going to talk about, you know, the second trend, which is going to be uh, to play contrast between, you know, matte and radiance. Yeah. So let's start with the glow. Okay. So I've, I'm sure you agree with me, Eric. But I think great makeup always starts with great skin. Uh, this is just the key point. It's really important, guys, definitely to select the right skincare product according to your skin type. Otherwise, okay, it could, it could look a little bit too glowy or it could be more difficult to apply and blend. And it's not going to look that natural. So I totally agree. So please use the right skincare product before applying makeup for sure even if we have makeup uh, made for skin you you absolutely need to use the right skincare product before so tell us what are you in love with <laughs> i'm in love with double oh. serum i've got to say hang on oh my. i've i've got two well, I have the big one, king size. I'm yeah. the big one, you know, I'm old. <laughs> um, I absolutely adore this stuff. Not only are all those botanicals feeding my skin long term, but the immediate glow is beautiful. And that comes from that bit of oil, doesn't it, Eric? I always have mine on the big pump, by the way. Yeah. So, my, you have two different, you know, dosage here. You have the big pump and the small one. If you combination oily skin just with the small one, and for all skin types and mature skin or dehydrated or dry skin, the big one. And I say I'm kind always, of in the more dehydrated yes. field. And always, Anna, when you apply Clarins products, even if you apply your know, skincare, either you apply skincare or makeup, we warm up the product and we apply it by using light pressing movements. 
Why? Please, something very important too, guys. Never pull your skin. Your mm. skin has a natural elasticity that we need to preserve for all our life. If you pull your skin too much every single day, it's like an elastic. You play with an elastic, okay? You play right. with it, and one day, okay, the previous shape is now good, never going to be back. No, you're never going to be the same. Okay, so it's exactly the same for your skin. Never pull your skin. Always light press the movement to make it absorb. That's it. Even for makeup. Eric, thank you for the reminder. <laughs> I'm sometimes guilty in the morning of being a bit over enthusiastic. Most of us. So please, please, please. We have to preserve the elasticity of our skin by just pressing, never pulling. So true. I'm now going to treat my eyes to some multi-active eye, which I adore. I like to squeeze just a little bit, pop it underneath. And then Eric, tell us all about this incredible applicator. Applicator. <gasps> Does make the application so pleasant, so quick, so fresh. Mm -hmm. Does decongest just right away at the application. Mm, it's just, I could lose myself at the moment <laughs> just here. Because I, I really struggle with puffiness under my eyes. So first so thing nice. in the morning, to have something so refreshing and cooling is yeah. just a dream. And it's, it's, not, it's not got a cold activating element. It's no. simply a, it's a metal that just always feels cold. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Mm. That's right. And if you apply your another, you know, eye contour, like the total eye lift, uh, for example, okay, just warm up the product and just apply it from inward to outward by using just light pressing movement. That's it. This is more than enough. Light pressing movement. Light pressing movement. Once I again, do not pull the very fragile and thin skin of your eye contour. Yes, yeah. total eye lift. I love this one. I'm going to show you my secret, you know, with <gasps> total eye lift. Well, you, you talked about this last week when we spoke, Eric, and I've been dying to hear more about it. Uh, for me, this is the, the most amazing eye contour you know, treatment. And I like, you know, you, we will see when we're going to apply, okay, the concealer. I'm doing something special, you know, when I'm playing the concealer okay. for eye lift. Okay. So I next step. Saying. So now yes. you prepare the skin, the eye contour. You didn't pull the skin. Great. <laughs> now I'm going to, well, I'm going to start doing my base makeup, but one of my favorite tricks, and Eric, I'm sure you've done this yourself throughout your career, is I love to mix my SOS primer and my foundation yes, together. Yes, of course. I love so I've got, mixing. I've got my Everlasting Youth Fluid. I use the shade Honey, which is perfect at this time of year. So I'm gonna do one pump into my hand, but then I'm going to take some of my Beautiful. This is such a gorgeous illuminating primer. This is a brilliant quick fix if I'm just on the school run. I'll wear it on its own. But for a gorgeous glowy foundation base, I'm going to mix it into my foundation. And when you mix both, okay, you can use, you know, half a pump or a pump of foundation according to your skin type and uh, one third of uh, uh, the SOS primer, the base. So good. That no. way, okay, you're never going to change to, to change the coverage or the texture or the finish of your foundation. Got it. And then I'm just going to do a couple of dots just across my face from my finger because I've mixed in the palm of my hand. And then with the beautiful fluffy foundation brush, I'm Gosh. just going to very gently start to I buff one. through the center. Now what you'll see the touch is so light it's so soft and what what i find this brush helps me achieve is it blends a very little amount of product a really long way so it just prevents me from applying too much and if i want to build it i can but if i just want to keep it really light i'll just yes. blend that tiny and little I, and now you've just highlighted a very important point not to apply too much foundation and we will see it exactly the same for the concealer people tend to apply too much yeah especially when you have a dehydrated skin or dry skin or mature skin you don't need to apply that much product 
okay so please you know don't i know that you can see a lot of tutorials you know on the web and everywhere some you know people are using huge amount of product all over the place you don't need that much please yeah. less yeah. is more look at anna you look just great ah, the minimum you. product so what i love is that i can still see my skin hi charlotte <laughs> <laughs> so there we go just a lightweight radiant base using the everlasting youth fluid mixed with the sos primer but saying that i also love to use the sos primer on top so if you want to have a little bit more of a glow yeah there's nothing to stop you from just tapping exactly great just the on top. can you see guys that definitely hello that you know Anna is not pulling the skin even when you're applying you know your foundation or your primer you know with a fluffy brush you are not moving your skin so it's very soft and you maintain once again the elasticity of your skin which is key that's it excellent now it looks like your skin is second beautiful glowing skin that's it my skin but better exactly you only better <laughs> um eric can you tell me a bit about the new everlasting concealer ah the new everlasting concealer i love this concealer because most of the time when people when a woman is using the concealer it's because she wants to hide you know the tiredness any shadowy area around the eye contour so this one provides maximum coverage. That's the reason why, once again, you need a very, very small amount. So the texture is, yes, this is more than enough for uh, one eye, definitely an eye base. So you can use it by its own, just few touches, and you are going to blend it just with light padding movement till the texture is going to be absorbed and it's going to blend onto the foundation that you previously applied. Instantly look at that. The eye contour looks brighter, smoother, awake. Amazing. And once again, do not use too much. Some people are saying, oh my God, it's yeah. difficult to apply. I can see my lines. It's just because you apply too much. You need a Got very it. tiny amount. Good products, high quality products, Small amount. Look at that. Lovely. What do you think, Anna? I love it. And what I, I love, just... Eric, is I can barely feel it. Now, I own lots and lots of different concealers, um, many of which are much thicker and drier in texture. So for someone like me whose key concern is their under eyes, something that gives me great coverage but feels significantly lighter is just, it's a, it's a win for me. I absolutely love it. Exactly. And you know what? Because even if your eye contour, because the eye contour is always a little bit more fragile, could be a little bit drier, especially you know, for more mature skin, and they want to use a good concealer. They want to make disappear, you know, this uh, shadowy area around the eye contour. So that way, what I'm doing, I'm using the same amount as you have used on your hands, and I mix it with the total eye lift, a grain of rice of total eye lift. A great right. You mix both and you just apply it, you know, a very small quantity amount and with just light pressing movement all over the eye contour. It blends instantly onto your skin I without see. highlighting any dryness, any line. And it does definitely make your skin, the, the eye contour skin, smoother oh, and wow. extremely comfortable. So yeah. This is another trick that I'm using especially when we have, you know, uh, a more dehydrated, you know, eye contour area. Amazing. I'm using the shade 2.5. <coughs> oh, no, I'm using shade 2, which is light to medium. And yes. I've, just, I've just tried your trick. Exactly. A grain of rice, you mix it, and you will see the texture blends onto mm. the skin with no thickness at all. Yeah. And does smooth instantly, you'll get the eye contour. Yeah, incredible. Especially for me in this kind of outer area where I have my finer lines. Exactly. And I know how, you know, you know, women are. They don't want to see, you know, any fine line, any. So this is a very, very good trick. You are going to treat, you know, the eye contour with total eye lift first and just a grain of rice. So it's, it's a minimum of a, a total eye lift mix 
with your in uh, everlasting concealer. It does I wonders. I love that. Some people are asking Eric if this concealer can be used, you know, in other areas. What would you say? It can be used, okay, you know, where you need, it's needed, you know, if you have a small yeah. imperfection, uh, you can also use it a little bit, you know, as an eye base here because it's going to really, oh. it's, it's really long lasting and, and matte. And you're yeah. going to see the eyeshadow are going to really stick, okay, onto it perfectly. Okay. It provides, you know, a 12 hours of perfect, uh, definitely finish. It's never going to move and run, you know, on, you know, the lines on the eye contour. And once again, you can see you need a very tiny amount. Yeah. Yeah. So Eric, when you I... buy a product, you don't need to, block, do, to buy it, you know, of two weeks after. Yeah. I love that on my eyelids. It's, it's the perfect eye base. If you're looking for a, a very good eye base, this is the perfect eye base. I love it. Thank you for your trick. I'm gonna I'm gonna add this into my kit and I'll be using that. So thank you, Eric. Um, I'm torn as to whether I do bronzer or eyebrows next. Oh, you can go for you know you can go for your 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 brows. So my, I'll do my brows. Brilliant. So I'm gonna use the dark brown brow 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 pencil, and I'm gonna use the spoolie first just to brush my brows up. And I do this, A, because I just think in the summertime or springtime, that slightly more um, lifted brow looks quite flattering, don't you think, Eric? Oh, no, I like it this way as long as it, you know, for me, the brows are, they have to look extremely, you know, natural, so perfectly, you know, groomed. And yeah. yours are perfectly groomed. So if you're looking for something extremely, you know, natural and soft, you can go for the eyebrow pencil. Or you can go for, I have this product I'm in love with, which is the Brow Duo. Okay, show the me. Bra, yeah, the Brow Duo, as long as you're missing a bit of color, a bit of hair. So on one side you have a, a, a powder, a powder, okay, and you can really add a touch of color in a very, oh, very wow. precise way. Yeah. Super long lasting, but sometimes for springtime, I look for something quite natural. And on the other side, you have quite like a tint of gel. Perfect. It comes like a mascara brush. So remove Perfect. the excess, okay, from the brush. And just brush up your brows. You're going to tint them and you're going to brush them up. And you're going to lift them up, okay, which is good, you know, for spring and summer as long as we're not going to use that much uh, color eyeshadows. And you're going to fix the brows and tip the brows, you know, with this product. So that I'm good. very soft, natural, very quick with the pencil. Mm. A little bit more, you know, sophisticated for the brow addict. <laughs> yes, with the brow duo. I love how um, delicate and slim yeah. the spoolie wand is. That's great for precision, isn't it, Eric? Exactly. Great for precision to make sure I'm not going to do any mistake. And what I love. It's super long lasting when it dries, super long lasting. Amazing. Well, there we go. That's my kind of subtle, light springtime brow. I'm not Guys, trying to do anything. You know, pay you know, attention to Anna's techniques because Anna, okay, she, you can see that she's very delicate. She's just yeah. drawing upwards in a very soft movement. Take a bit of your time and make it very soft, delicate and elegant. Yeah. There's no need. I don't know about you, Eric, but I'm not a fan of kind of drawing lines oh. underneath and on top. <laughs> okay. If someone likes it, I can do it. Okay? Yeah. But I think, you know, brows, okay, they give you the old expression of your personality. So don't look too strong. Don't look too soft. Just look yourself. So That's don't right. try to make it totally different as nature has decided uh, for you. <laughs> I agree, I agree. So now then, now that my brows are in place, I think, I, I think it's time for a bit of warmth. What do you think? Warm up, especially for spring, okay? This yes. is the perfect moment to warm up the complexion. And the best I product to warm up the complexion in a second is glow to go. Glow to go, I absolutely love it. Now, I don't know about you, but I just go straight to the skin. So I'm using the bronze end first. 
and I'm just, I'm not contouring. I'm using this over the higher points. So I just take it straight onto the top of the cheek and then just dab with my fingers to blend that beautiful cream Perfect. bronze. Creamy texture that blends <sighs> onto the skin is going to add extra glow and it's going to warm up, okay, the complexion because of the color. I just love just it. Just look at what Anna is doing. She's applying just on the cheekbone. There we go. And it blends so quickly and easily. Yeah. Thank you, it's amazing texture because some sticks are quite, you know, are dry and they're very difficult yeah. to blend. Yeah, this isn't at all. Then an alternative um, thing, I do this really on my clients, is I'll sometimes take from the tip and then just blend straight to the skin. So using the pads of my fingers, just blend through the top of my forehead where the sun would naturally hit. Exactly. And I'm, I'm blessed with a very, um, a very deep forehead, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Quick. Oh, they're asking if we have tried a new bronzer from the spring collection. Of course. Yes. Of course, you can, you know, either use, you know, the glow to go or the new, you know, bronzer, you know, from the summer collection, from the spring collection. So they, they are doing wonders. But here, you know, Anna, she's using the glow to go because she's working, she's doing something according to the spring trend, which is glow, a glowy complexion. Dewy, dewy, dewy. And then the great thing is, I've got my blush on the other end. Hmm? Perfect. So totally quick and easy. And I don't know about you, I love to smile and then just take it straight from the bullet onto the apple of the cheek. Exactly, the apple of the cheek. It's and a then again, beautiful coral shade. So cute. Which is going to warm up the complexion too. There we go. And look at that. You cannot do any mistake with this product because it blends so quickly and easily yeah. naturally onto your skin. There we go. It's kind of mistake proof. And what I love, when I'm in a rush, I'll just sweep that over my eyelids. I might put a bit on my lip and that's <laughs> it. I'm done. multi -purpose. I know what women are doing, you know, in the bathroom in the morning. <laughs> Sometimes better not to see exactly what they're doing. Um, but I can't resist a little bit of a, a shimmering, slightly smoky eye. So I have got the Ombre palette Ombre number four. Couture. Yeah, love it. Brown sugar gradation I've got. <gasps> Look at these. Great. So beautiful. Ah, someone is telling me that she likes to use, you know, a liquid bronzer that we have for some time, sometimes. Yes, you're talking about the SOS primer, uh, the summer collection. You know, for the bronzers, you can either use, you know, for the glow, the uh, glow to go that Anna is using. You can use uh, the bronzer, the compact powder, if you're looking for a matte finish. And you can use also the SOS primer, okay, the summer edition if you're looking for something more liquid. That's it, that's it. And I do love when creating kind of the ultimate kind of dewy base, that's the beauty of, isn't it, of layering liquid and cream products on top of each other. <gasps> okay, so I've gone into the slightly more um, bronzy Bronze. gold shade. And I'm just gonna sweep that all the way over the lid. Nothing too strong. No, no, no hard lines, no angles, just really delicately diffused over the lid for that really effortless. Once again, the objective is just to add, you know, that glowy, the dewy, you know, finish on the eyelid by using, you know, that golden <gasps> uh, shade. Eric, it's very rich in pigment, so no need to use too much. Once again, yeah. you can add a little bit more for evening makeup because of the, you know, the evening lighting. So before daylight, look at that. And how easy is it with this brush? You just get a bit onto the brush and then just sweep back it's and forth. very easy with the, yeah, with the blending brush. Yeah, just always make sure, certainly with my eyes, because Eric, they are slightly hooded, aren't they? I do need to make sure I bring the color that little bit higher. A little bit higher, yeah. Yeah, so when my eyes are open, you can see that full color coming through the crease. <gasps> Excellent. So easy. <laughs> and then actually these kind of matte taupey colors. 
so gentle. I'm going to sweep a tiny bit of that along my lower lash line just to very gently frame the eye. And because you can I'm do that. You can do that because you need to apply your concealer first. Yeah. So no problem to add, you know, a bit of color of a brownish, you know, a smoked color, you know, underneath under the, the lower lid because your eyes are just bright uh, thanks to the everlasting concealer. Very cute. Excellent. Now, please show the color you started with. Yes, please. This one? This one, a bit higher. Yes, this is the gold. Okay, this is uh, the Ombre Quatre Couleurs Brown Sugar, and this is the gold shade. That's right. Now I'm going to take some of the Chestnut Waterproof Pencil. Okay, and so I'm... Chestnut a Brown, okay. Yeah. Softer for spring. That's it. Okay, softer compared to... It's dark enough to really enhance the eye shape. And it's soft enough, enough to make you look too strong you know so i'm just keeping it right into the root of the lashes exactly the i'm going to pull it out at the corner slightly but not much not much and up yes you mm -hmm. lift it with the finger yeah and so when it dries easy. it dries in a few seconds and it's super long lasting it's a waterproof pencil i love it but it's so smooth eric extremely eric. smooth there are so forget. many waterproof pencils that just, it, there's no give whatsoever, but this yes. one is silky and once soft. again, it's just because we have, you know, Clarins makeup is made for skin. It's really enriched with plants extract. And I love that. I love that that's, you know, that ethos carries through the entire range, doesn't it, Eric? And powered by skincare ingredients. That's so it. it's really in between skincare and makeup. Love that. So that's the reason why, you know, the t our application techniques are so soft. We did develop these application techniques to make your life easier, to give you the right tips according to your skin concern and skin times, and uh, to make sure that you're going to really take care of your skin, maintain the firmness of your skin, and to make your skin look smoother. Okay. So for me, Eric, it's always all about the lashes. <laughs> so I have the Supra Volume Mascara. The Supra Volume Mascara. Oh, I love it. Um, I love this one too. And you can I do, love you this know, one too. You can I do like much. Okay, Sorry, once again, Eric. no, once again, you know, the mascara is something extremely per personal. People yeah. just like you, you know, they like a little bit more volume, so go for the Supraviolum Mascara. Others, they go for more definition. So that's the reason why we have uh, created uh, the 4D uh, Mascara, the four-dimensional mascara. So it means <coughs> that it's going to lengthen the lashes, give volume, curl the lashes, and uh, give more definition to the lashes. So. Some women are looking for everything, so it's a 4D mascara. You're looking for volume, go for Supra Volume Mascara. So the 4D mascara does exist in waterproof version. Oh my God. Are you sure you, did? you didn't put on false lashes? Really? <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It's just, it's just so lovely. I mean, it does exactly what it says on the tin. Beautiful, fluffy thick lashes and what I love personally Eric is that even when it's dry they feel soft exactly and they're going to stay soft you know all day long because once again this is not just a mascara you know Clarence we always create a lash primer that is a mascara at the same time so it's a lash treatment plus a mascara so once again you are treating your lashes with a, a lash boosting you know complex which is going to nourish your lashes, soften your lashes, moisturize your lashes, make them grow and make them thicker uh, after each application. Well, it's certainly excellent, isn't it? You don't even need to do that many layers, Eric. No, that's the objective. You know, many women, you know, guys, I'm sure that many of you in the morning, you don't have an hour, you know, just to apply your makeup and to go to the office right away. So right. most of the women, they just take off the brush, they just apply, you know, three, four 
some strokes and they go. Right. So you need to get the results, you know, as fast, as quick as possible. Wow. So the mascara, the, the name of this mascara is Supra Volume Mascara. Well, it does exactly what it claims to. Super volume in, in no effort. Oh, and we have a very interesting question. Uh, Tell me. Does, you know, more mature women can apply, you know, uh, mascara on the bottom lashes? What do you think? Um, I think so. I think it's about personal preference. I know that some women I work with are concerned that if you do too much mascara on the lower lashes, it could look a bit spidery. So if that's you, then I suggest you can do a little bit and then you can always just pinch off the bottom of the mascara so they don't look quite so long. So okay. I'd say it's personal preference. Um, I usually put mascara on, on all of my clients, on yes. the lower lashes. Once again, you have to respect your personality. If you're used to it, why not? Apply your concealer first to make sure they're not going to focus too much on the bottom, you know, lashes yeah. and the bottom area of your eyes. Because the objective of the eye makeup when you are, when you're a bit more mature, okay, is just to lift up the eyes and to lift the features. So of course you can concentrate on the upper part of the upper eyelid, but you can also apply a little bit after applying your concealer. That's it. But Someone was starting to, to see the wand. It's lovely, isn't it? And I, yes, I of course, we're going to they ask, we're going to publish the list of the product that we have been used right after the live, guys. There we go. Um, there's only one way. Well, I've got two, two last things I want to show you. Well, or to apply, Eric. Uh, the first being my, my, my oh, the, sector. the love of my life. This is a unique product. You cannot find that texture, that formula you know, anywhere else. It's absolutely unique. It's a, for me, it's the best lip treatment. It's the best natural lip makeup product. This is your best friend that you always need to carry in your handbag all Correct. year round, spring, winter, summer. Correct. I wanted to show you, I took this from my desk just a minute ago. Oh, <laughs> good. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, Eric. They are indeed in every handbag in every coat pocket, in the glove compartment in my car. They're just, they're everywhere, I love them. And, and I'm gonna use the shade Apricot. So You're this right. is number Apricot. two. Yes, number two. It's brand yes, new. Guys. Yes, guys, we're going to say this live, so you're going to be able to watch it again and again and again. And you will uh, receive at the same time, you will, we will put on uh, the list of the old products that we have been using. Mm. Love. And of course, I can Love. see that you have, you know, uh, more questions. Of course, we will answer to all your questions just right after the live. Yay! So, show us, show us, Anna. This is, this is great. This is what I call, you know, a beautiful, glowy, dewy look for spring. Natural, so elegant, just beautiful. So good. It's now, I don't, only better. I d exactly. Now, I don't want to ruin the glow I've created with powder, so I'm going to use Fix uh, Makeup. Fix Makeup. Fix Makeup, which is not going just to fix your makeup. It's going to moisturize your skin. It's going to revive the color pigments, the color as that you did apply mm. onto the skin. And the aromatics are just divine, aren't they? The aroma is very, you know, restful, peaceful. Uh, you, you feel just, you know, rested and relaxed and beautiful and That's moisturized. It. And moisturized. And something I would like to share before, you know, the end, you know, with you, Anna, because as long as you have, you know, this is, you know, the dewy, the glowy, you know, look. And when it comes to the matte look, yes. we can use the Everlasting Foundation. I don't know if you have it, the Everlasting Foundation with you. Yes, this one, the new Everlasting Foundation. This one is super long lasting, does last 24 hours, non-transfer, full coverage. So if I'm looking for a matte finish, good coverage, long lasting, non-transfer, this is the foundation that you have to use as long as you are, good, good, you are looking for a matte perfect finish. Once again, do not use too much. 
most of the time you just need half a pump for the whole face. Mm. And my secret, if you have a dehydrated skin or a dry skin or a more mature skin, but you still look for coverage and matte finish and long lasting effect, I do mix it with a drop of the double serum. So use half a pump of everlasting foundation and use the small drop here of the double serum and mix one drop of the double serum, yes, with everlasting foundation. You mix it and you will see the texture, the texture, you know, so sensorial. And it makes the texture, you know, like, like your favorite moisturizer. And yeah, when you apply it on your skin, it blends directly onto your skin and it does smooth the features. So you're never going to see that your skin is dry. Your skin, you're never going to see any fine line that you all don't want to see in the mirror. And you're still going to, you're still going to realize a perfect flawless complexion with a matte finish, great coverage, long lasting and non-transfer. So this is really the, the contrast with the dewy, glow finish that Anna, you know, did create on herself with the Everlasting Youth Foundation mixed with the primer and uh, mixed with the glow to go, you know, on the top. Mm -hmm. If you're looking for a matte finish, go for Everlasting Foundation. You can mix it with a drop of the double serum all over the face and you still go on with your in, uh, Everlasting Concealer. Another. And for the eyes, for the eyes, because once again, it's good to play the contrast with the matte finish and the radiance. And for the eyes, I have selected uh, the Ombre Quatre Couleurs, number one, Nude. Nude, and I love this nude because it does contain this beautiful highlighter. And as long as, you know, the complexion is matte, I like to apply, you know, just one shade. I like mono monochromatic, you know, makeup. And just by applying this beautiful highlighter, I'm going to show you on my hands. If you can see, yeah, you know, gorgeous. the light effect. It's so beautiful. It's so transparent and natural. You just apply all over the mobile lid, that's it. Touch of mascara could be your favorite mascara, <laughs> Anna. You're super proud of your mascara. And just to play the contrast till the end, just apply, instead of my favorite, you know, Lip Perfecta, but I have a second favorite product, which is the Lip Comfort Oil. You can apply the Lip Comfort Oil 7 Honey Glam. Beautiful. It's totally transparent with just a little bit of gold reflection. So once again, I'm going to apply it on the top of my hand. And look oh, wow. at the beautiful, you know, golden wow. reflection. So again, just to play the contrast with your matte complexion, flawless complexion, okay? A little bit of highlight on the eyelids, very mascara, nice. and a little bit of gold reflection on your lips in a very natural, transparent color. Beautiful. I think beautiful. Both, both trends, both looks are, are just beautiful for that season, for this brief spring season, Anna, what do you think? I love it. I need I need that lip gloss in the sunshine. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Give me diamond encrusted lips. Beautiful. Uh, this one, you know, for me too. I I think that all women they should carry, you know, the honey glam, you know, lip oil, because you can apply it by its own. You can apply it on the top of your matte lipstick. You can apply it on your, you know, satin finished lipstick. Whatever it definitely it it, it gives you that touch of natural sophistication. <laughs> oh, love that we all want that though don't we eric that's what we want so anna i think we we, we have shared so many you know different techniques and and tips so i don't know if you want to add something else now at the end i just want to say thank you for having me this has been great fun i know that some people have asked about my base color so just to reiterate uh, i use the everlasting youth fluid and it's the shade honey which is number 10, isn't it? 110. 110. 110, 110 yes. yeah. What is it called? I can buy it now. <laughs> I think that was about the lip oil. 
Yes, ah, got the lip oil. Of course, you just go on clarence.com and you can definitely enjoy yourself yes. by, you know, ordering this beautiful uh, product. Yes, yes, yes. So thank you guys. Oh, merci, merci. Thank you, Anna. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. So I hope that next time we're going to, to see each other in Rio. Oh, I hope so. IRL. Yes. Very soon, you know, it's, it's, it's really quite, you know, everything is open in UK. So, and here in France, we're thinking about, you know, starting opening, you know, uh, uh, mid-May. So that's the reason why, guys, that's the moment to enjoy yourself. That's the moment to take care of yourself, to have fun with your family and your friends. That's so Thank nice. you so much, Anna. Take good care of yourself. I love you. And you. Take care. And see you Bye. very soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you.